Uh, my name is Ebony McGee and I work at Northwestern University. I'm a National Science Foundation postdoc and I'm currently working on a study that looks at the lives, experiences, and career decisions of uh, black, Latino, and Asian, Asian American students who are majoring in STEM fields. Well, my study deals with 23 high achieving African American students who are junior and senior college majors in STEM fields at four Midwestern universities. And the objective of the study is to understand how they manage their success, particularly in a field that is highly competitive and is highly racialized in a field where they are few in number. So I really wanted to understand if racialized experiences in their STEM classroom served as a barrier, motivator, or both and how they manage those experiences of racialized bias within the classroom, within the college, um, within their school settings. Stereotypes don't have to be activated in experimental situations, which is how we've often seen the uh, studies on racial stereotypes. These are uh, everyday situations, so kind of everyday racism operating within STEM classrooms and on college campuses. So camp, uh, colleges have a responsibility to kind of deal with how students manage these stereotypes, particularly in a way that doesn't lead to these students pursuing non-STEM majors. Another finding is I have a lot of students who are high achieving in STEM majors and decide that they do not want to pursue STEM because of the nature of these racialized stereotypes. With the theme to know is not enough, this study presents a responsibility to educators, to scholars, to communities, to colleges to really recognize the emotional stress that high achievers go through particularly historically marginalized high achievers, but I would suggest that this probably cut across uh, all high achieving groups in STEM. The emotional stress that they go to in order to uh, obtain a STEM degree.